In this how to we are going to learn how to implement SEO friendly uh, custom pagination in grid view. To make a grid view pagination SEO friendly so that no query string appears dif for different pages of the grid view, we can use this approach. So in this what we are doing is that we are first going to copy paste the code of the global.asx page. So now first let's create a global.asx uh, file and copy and paste this code. So let me create a global.asx file. And uh, I am pasting my code here. I am removing the earlier code because I am not going to use them. Yes. Now I am going to explain this code later on. But now, for now, just let's proceed further and let's create one uh, ASPX page and copy paste this code. Okay. So you already have we have ASPX page and I am just copying and pasting this code. And in this, what we have done is that we have written auto generate columns equal to false and uh, data key names equal to auto id allow paging equal to false we have written allow paging equal to false so that uh, the default paging of a uh, grid view will not appear and uh, we have also written uh, uh, the, the columns explicitly this is not mandatory in order to write the SEO friendly uh, URL for grid view uh, but uh, uh, I have just written it uh, so that you know we can know that how many uh, columns and what are the columns uh, should appear and what should be the header text and then on this page we have a one uh, literal control called LIT paging and it's enable view strategy equal to false now let me go ahead and copy paste the code behind for this page so here is my code code behind okay and then from here to this Sorry, till summary, let's copy paste. And then we have little more code. And yes. Now let me rectify these codes. And then we have this code. And I'm going to rectify this code as well and then we have this and then this and uh, because we are using edu.net code so we will have to uh, add a couple of name spaces so let me add an, uh, okay we already have some name space in this we have to add one more extra namespace called uh, system.txt for the string builder because we are using string builder here okay and then we have underscore con str as the database connection string so let me use that and it should be basically this so let me go ahead and use it so I am writing string underscore con str is equal to configuration manager dot configuration manager dot connection string con str dot connection string and this con str is basically here in my web dot config file as you can see ok now let me explain all the code completely the first what we are doing is that we are uh, we are trying to retrieve the uh, route data uh, value of a start index and page number now where this route data is value coming from it is coming from the global.asx as you can see that under the application underscore start event we have called the register routes method and in this register routes method what we are doing is that we are uh, uh, mapping the uh, this URL pattern list start index and page number
and when this URL pattern comes then I am saying that go ahead and send this uh, person to SEO paging dot ASPX page now here we don't have SEO paging we have default dot ASPX page so let me change to default dot ASPX page and then what we are doing is that we are saying that check physical URL access generally it should be true okay this basically tells that the user should have access to the physical URL or not I am saying that yes and then the very important thing is that the, the next parameter the next parameter is basically the default value for this start index and page number so it means that when we will not pass a start index and page number to default.aspx page then what it should consider uh, as a start index and page number so here what we are doing is that we are instantiating the uh, route value dictionary and we are passing a start index is equal to 0 and page number as 0 so what this necessarily means is that when we will try to uh, browse the default.aspx without passing a start index and a page number then this a start index and page number will give us a zero value so that's what will happening first a start in index and page number will be zero when we will first run this page so let me go ahead and run this page and then I will come to this page again to explain the code further so here you can see that okay con str sorry there is little error here yeah looks like it is fine there was a typo okay fine now we are done so first you can see that my url is simply default.aspx page so i'm not passing any start index means there is no oblique and something and then something here so what will happen is that all the default is coming here so it is zero zero so what is happening is that I am checking if it is not each post back then we are checking for the start index and the page number and if the start index and the page number is not null and not empty then what we are doing is that we are uh, passing the start index and page number to underscore start index and underscore this page integer variable respectively and uh, what we are doing is that we are calling the bind the grid method and in the bind the grid method what we have done is that we have used the load personal details stored procedure so let me show you the load personal details stored procedure here is um, load personal details stored procedure as you can see and this stored procedure is basically accepting three parameters the start row index page number and total count and uh, first we are just incrementing the start row index and then we are using the the sub query to retrieve the data from uh, and, and, uh, the personal details table and apart from that we are also retrieving the row number column and then uh, we are retrieving the, uh, the all the uh, records between the start row index and the start row index plus page size this is a simple algorithm written in the stored procedure so that uh, it will retrieve the data based on the start row index and the page size and the next uh, uh, select statement basically gives us the complete records from the personal detail table in case you have to use the filter statement means where statement in the store procedure then you should use it here under the sub query where and whatever you want to write and the same filter statement you will have to write, have to write for the total count as well so that number of records of uh, returned from both this select statement will match and uh, then what we are doing is that we are passing all the necessary parameters as shown in the, into the store procedure start row index page size and the total count uh, parameter is basically an output parameter that uh, actually gives the total number of records found uh, from uh, this store procedure and uh, then what we are doing is that we are using the SQL adapter and then we are uh, filling that into the data table and we are uh, retrieving the value that is returned from the total count output parameter into the total count variable and then what we are doing we are binding the uh, data table to that uh, uh, grid view and uh, for the lit paging means for this uh, little uh, control what we are doing is that we are calling the do pagination method so here is my do pagination method and in this do pagination what we have done is that we have divided the total count by the page size now here page size means number of records that I want to display into the single page so uh, what I want to do is that I want to display two, two records in, into the one page so that's why uh, I'm just dividing the total number of records divided by page size and then we are looping through the number of pages 
and we are basically forming the uh, uh, URL for the page numbers as you can see there and we are adding into this thing uh, builder so here what we are doing we are reacting ahref and then get route url for the page and holder multiply by page size dot to string and then holder and page one two three four something this is basically logic once you go through it then you will be able to understand clearly and if it is not current page then basically the, the page will be written without any link so as you can see here because it is the current page page number one so page so this page number is not in link but all remaining are into the link and uh, the this do pagination method basically return the link complete links means this links and it will be written in the uh, lit paging lit little control and uh, that's it now this get uh, route url method is basically this method and this internally uses the get route url method of the page object as you can see page dot get route url uh, get route url method and uh, what it does is that it basically pass those two parameters the start index and the page number and it basically based on this pattern it, it will return the uh, URL so now uh, I have already run this page and let me just uh, show you the uh, you, uh, the page paging URL here uh, notice this status bar you can see that now it is coming list oblique 2 oblique 1 it means that uh, list start index equal to 2 and page number equal to 1 you can see this and for the uh, page number 3 it is coming list oblique 4 means start index 4 and page number 2 it is here 0 based uh, page numbering so for page number 1 it will be 0 for page number 2 it will be 1 and something like that so now when I will click on the page number 2 you will see that I am getting very uh, SEO friendly URL you can see that there is no query string and it is easy to remember also list 2 and oblique 1 and you can see that I am able to navigate through all the URL using uh, 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 SEO friendly URL plus it is custom pagination so there is no view state here you can see that uh, let me see ok we have not kept enable view state to, to false that while little view state was coming now we have rem removed the view state means we have written enable view state to false now when I will refresh this page you will notice that there will not be any view state here this is the default view state that comes but apart from that there is no view state for the uh, grid view uh, as well as for the literal control so this is the way to basically uh, uh, implement the custom SEO friendly URL